Hi, my name is Yuri, I'm 20 years old and I'm from Kharkiv, Ukraine. Kharkiv is the second biggest city in Ukraine uh, and the biggest city in eastern Ukraine. It has over one and a half million people, more than the population of Estonia. And today all of these people are in danger. I study culturology in Kharkiv University and at 23rd of February I had a task of filming a short video referencing some famous picture. Uh, because of this I was having a sleepover at my friend's house. At 5 a.m. in the morning we woke up from the sound of bombs, of big explosions. We didn't know what was going on. Uh, we were just... We planned to go in this day to a famous Kharkiv sculptor uh, and talk to him about art. So we just didn't know what was going on. I tried to Google something, but it was 5 a.m. Everything have just happened and there were no new news articles because journalists just didn't have time to write anything. Then our loved ones started to call to us and to ask us what, how are we, what's going on. And uh, then we knew that not only Kharkiv was bombed, but also Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine of around 3 million people, uh, Odessa, third biggest city of Ukraine, Mariupol, the biggest city on Azov Sea, and so on and so forth. Basically every other major city in Ukraine was bombed. Uh, we knew that it was Russia. Russia bombed Ukraine and absolutely unprovoked. Uh, Putin said something about the danger of uh, Ukrainian Ukrainians and that Lenin invented Ukraine in the 20th century, which is like absolutely absurd if you know anything about history, but somehow to Putin and Russia it isn't absurd. Um, we took what we could and hid in a basement of my grandma for two days. Uh, there were explosions and bombs dropping on my city all the time. Uh, then in 10 minutes we had to took all of our belongings, what we could, and go uh, flee the city. Uh, for two next days we were riding on the west of my country, in the west of Ukraine, uh, because it is more peaceful there. Uh, now I'm in these clothes which I've been wearing for five days, I guess. These are the clothes which I have chosen for filming the video because they were the in the color palette that I needed for that picture, for that famous painting. Uh, and now I just basically don't have any other clothes with me because I wasn't at home and I didn't have the time to took any other clothes. Um, we hid in the basement in which m my grandfather was hidden during the Second World War. Uh, and <laughs> it is just so sad that history repeats itself. Uh, now my friends are still in Kharkiv, hidden in their basements uh, or in the metro stations because Russia is bombing Kharkiv and bombing other, every other major Ukrainian city. Uh, they said that there, there's a group of um, neo-Nazis in Ukraine, uh, but, like, <laughs> this is so absurd. Who are those neo-Nazis? Children? Because children are dying. They are bombing peaceful Ukrainian houses. A lot of houses in Kharkiv are destroyed by bombs. The cities which I have walked only a week, a week ago are destroyed. There were 
fight Russian tanks on the street, at which I was having a sleepover with my friend the day the war started. A full-scale war, because uh, a hybrid war was going in Donbass for eight years. But it wasn't in my region, it wasn't in the most of Ukraine, it was only in Donetsk, Luhansk and in Russia also occupied Ukraine and Crimea. But now all of Ukrainian citizens, all 40 million of Ukrainians are in danger because of Russia. Um, we are fighters and Ukrainians are fighting back. They expected to took Ukraine in one day but they didn't took didn't take any major ukrainian city so far uh, but also we need your help and your help um, ukraine won't stand against russia all by itself we will if we will have to but it would be so much easier to fight Russia if other countries were to help us. Because if it would be okay that one country can attack another country and have no, no uh, consequences, then all of the world will be in chaos. If Ukraine will fall, your country will be next. Um, in 1938, uh, Western powers uh, allowed Hitler to annex Czechoslovakia. British Prime Minister Chamberlain said that he won peace for Europe for the rest of all time. The next year Second World War started. Because, because if you allow crazy dictators like Hitler or Putin to do what they want, because you're afraid of them, then they will think that they can do anything and they will attack again and again. Putin won't stop until he will be stopped. So I ask you to do everything you can to stop Putin. There are international battalions in Ukraine fighting for Europe, fighting for freedom, fighting for whole democratic world. Uh, you can donate to Ukrainian army. You can urge your governments to help Ukraine. We need your help. We are strong, but we are stronger together. Please, if do all what you can, because it matters not only to us, but it matters to you.